Hello and welcome to a short tutorial video showing you how to use the online keyboard to enter mathematical notation into your lines of working on the Revision Village website. And to do this we're going to use this question here. It's a sequence and series question and we're just going to look at part B and show a couple of lines of working using the online keyboard. So to use that I would go into the answer box for part B and I could click the type math button which brings up a answer entry box where we can put in our mathematical notation or lines of working and at the right hand end here we have a keyboard icon and if we click this we will get the online keyboard. So we'll just have a quick look around the online keyboard. You'll see here there are five menus and at the moment we're on the numeric menu with the range of options shown here and if I press the shift button I get another range of options that show up on top of those. The next menu we have is the symbols menu and again we have a range of options here and further options available by pressing the shift button. The third menu is Roman letters which is like our standard physical keyboard and just noting here when we press shift as well as getting all of the capital letters we'll get an option for a fraction on the 5 button, an option for an exponent on the 6 button, we also get a time sign in brackets over here and we get other options occur on the bottom row as well so if we press shift See here we get these extra options occur in the top row and we get a plus minus summation and does not equal sign over top of the plus minus and equal signs in the bottom row. The fourth menu is for Greek letters. We have here the lowercase Greek letters and if we press shift we get the uppercase Greek letters. And finally we have a matrix menu which we'll look at in a different video. So if we now look at part B what we have here is a geometric sequence which is defined by its general term 5 times 2 to the power of n minus 1 and in this question we're asked to find the value of the sum of the summation from k equals 1 to 6 of v of k. So we're looking for the sum of the first six terms of the sequence defined by this term. So what we'll write here is just this notation using the online keyboard and we'll show that this is equal to the sum of the first six terms of a geometric sequence and we'll put in the formula for that. So the first thing we want to do is a summation sign and on the numeric keyboard if we just notice here the plus sign when we press shift this changes to a summation sign. So I can click on that you'll see a summation sign appears in the answer box and it has editable boxes above and below. We're looking for the summation from k equals 1 to 6 so at the top of our sigma sign we need just the number 6. I can then press the right arrow to go below the summation sign and here we want to write k equals 1. So I'll go to the Roman letters menu and just type in k equals 1. So now we have our summation sign correct and we're looking for the sum of uh, the sequence with this general term v of k. So I'm going to write this noting we have v and then we have a subscripted k. So I can type the letter v and now I'll go back to the numeric menu and just noting here we have the exponent button which I can press shift and this becomes a subscript button which I can use by clicking that I then get a subscript and I can go back to my Roman letters menu and type K so we have V of K just pressing again the right arrow to exit that noting that subscript button is good for logs of different bases as well so what we said here is that this summation is equal to the sum of the first six terms of a geometric sequence and that would be written as u1 times r to the power of 6 minus 1 all divided by r minus 1. So we'll write that. So we need a fraction and on the Roman letters menu we can press shift and then number 5 to create a fraction. In the numerator here we will have v1 multiplied by r to the power of 6 minus 1. So we can write the letter v and go back to our numeric menu, press the shift button to get our subscript and just type the number 1, right arrow to exit that subscript and now we can open a bracket and we want to write r to the power of 6 minus 1 so we can go back to the Roman letters menu, press the letter r and then shift followed by 6 to get an exponent and we have r to the power of 6, we can exit that exponent by pressing the right arrow and type minus 1. So now we have our numerator correct, we have v1 times r to the power of 6 minus 1 and in the denominator all we need is r minus 1. So what we've shown here just using the online keyboard is how we could write a summation sign with lower and upper bounds, we've done a subscript for v of k and also for v of 1, we've created a fraction and done an exponent for r to the power of 6. So there are many options on the online keyboard, make sure you look through it all yourself, but that's just a quick guide on how to use some of those tools.